Howdy folks, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of Can civilians in Halo Reach attack enemies? So, you probably have noticed by now, but civilians in Halo Reach are pretty much useless. Uh, all they do is just kind of run around in circles and get beat up by brutes or killed by brutes. And yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much the extent of the civilians. You know, at best, at best, you could say civilians are a good distraction for the brutes in Halo Reach for you to sneak around them if you're speedrunning or something. But yeah, for the most part, they're just in the way, essentially. Whereas, by comparison, in Halo 3, if, if you remember the civilian dock workers, they actually join you when fighting the Covenant. The, uh, the dock workers are all armed with, like, magnums, or if you want, you can give them more powerful weapons, and they'll essentially act like marines <laughs> um, in Halo 3. But I guess civilians have been nerfed a lot in Halo Reach. But with that in mind, are they totally useless in Halo Reach? Can they actually attack enemies under any circumstances at all? Well, that is what I set out to find out. And, uh, thanks to a tip from some Halo guy, I actually, um, did this for the experiment. So what I did was I turned on the catch skull. The catch skull makes it so that all AIs will toss grenades, like a lot of grenades, a lot more of the times. And at first, uh, in the first scene that you saw in this video, when the brutes were attacking civilians, they did have the catch skull enabled at the time, and they didn't throw any grenades at the brutes or anything. So, it seems like nothing the catch skull would apply to them. But, what I did next was later in the mission when we had a lot more civilians, a lot more marines all together without any interference from brutes, I, uh, I started betraying all the marines and ODSTs, well actually, correction, all the troopers. I know some people like to point out that they're actually troopers, not marines, but as far as the game files are concerned, the game engine and everything, the tags, they're called marines in the game files as well, uh, so, and as far as the game is concerned, same thing. But anyways, I betrayed more marines, and, uh, you know, the first couple batches of betrayals, the civilians said nothing, but here in the second batch, boom, one of the civilians, just one of them, I mean, on my radar, they all turned to enemies, but one of them actually pulled out a grenade out of nowhere. Uh, this civilian right here, she just randomly... <laughs> pulls out a grenade, like, like out of nowhere, like in her back pocket, I guess, she was carrying some UNSC grenade, um, which, it was just actually, like, huge by comparison, and it would never fit in, like, her, her jean, her back jean pocket, but she somehow pulled it out of her back jean pocket, and then actually tried to throw that grenade at me, however, as you saw a little earlier, she's actually a bad, uh, a thrower with a grenade, a bad tosser, but the, well actually it's not really her fault because the other civilian kind of ran in front of her as she was throwing the grenade, and uh, it kind of, it, it hit the civilian and like it hurt him a little bit and it bounced off of him, and it kind of almost blew them all up, but they actually miraculously survived. So let's resume this in slow motion, see it hits that civilian in the back as he's running in front of her. Um, if he wasn't there, I don't know, maybe she would have been more accurate with her throw. But, yeah, the grenade blew up, and it injured, like, all of them. And, yeah, they, uh, I mean, they were okay after that. But, yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. That, um, that one civilian right there, kind of fishy if you ask me, but she just happened to be carrying a UNSC frag grenade on her. But... There you go, that does answer the question. Even though it seems like civilians are completely useless and won't attack or anything, they just, they're just they just scripted like run around in circles and stuff like that, they actually can attack enemies. However, so far I've only been able to get them to attack me when I start betraying um, uh, our allies. And only one of them as well actually threw a grenade at me too. So it's a very rare occurrence that civilians would actually attack enemies. And the only way to like make it happen is with the catch skull. I don't think it will work without the catch skull. But anyways, that should answer the question, which is yes, civilians can attack enemies. Uh, especially when it's you <laughs> betraying them. 
But yeah, so hopefully you guys did find this video to be interesting. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts and comments, anything else you want to check out, just let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.